With a huge presence on Instagram, several patterns under her belt, and even working with fabric companies, Susie Williams is undeniably one of the it girls of quilting. I am always so flattered and surprised when people reach out to me and, and, and say sweet, encouraging things. And, you know, an encouraging word goes such a long way. Even if, you know, you see I have X amount of Instagram followers, it's still a vulnerable place to be to create something and throw it out there into the universe and hope to God nobody hates it or, you know, and I, I think that's what's so beautiful about this quilting community is that it's just encouragement. I mean, it's just really, really kind people building each other up, elevating each other, inspiring each other. It, I mean, it is the, the most wonderful community I've ever been a part of. Williams was originally featured in our Quiltonomics article with her custom quilt business. I love quilting. I thought, well, perfect idea. I will make quilts and sell them. Well, not so great because Pottery Barn also sells quilts for a fraction of the price that I would be sell selling a quilt. And people, you know, don't always see the difference between what I'm doing and what, you know, a big box company is doing. And so what your article showed is that the cost it takes me, the time, really it makes it impossible to create a sustainable business making and selling quilts unless you sell them as a piece of artwork, you know, $3,000, $5,000 even if you want it to be profitable. But now she's changing direction. This graphic designer wants to make quilting her main game. So I made this shift in thinking, okay, if I want this to be a business, which I really do, I need to produce patterns, I need to produce things for the quilting community that they can latch onto, that they can, um, can use, and so I can still be a part of this community I love, but maybe turn my business into something else. So pattern making, designing is really where I'm headed. Williams and I met up at QuiltCon where she shared some secrets to her design inspiration. That's how I've started looking at quilts, as a full composition rather than just a repeating pattern. Um, so that's gotten really exciting. The improv that people do here at QuiltCon it blows my mind because I'm very much create a plan, execute the plan, you know, exactly how I plan. So it's pretty maybe, cool. Maybe something for the future. Maybe you can maybe. dabble in it. And of course, we discussed what every quilter deals with, talking to non-quilters. Jen, when I tell people I quilt, like immediately their eyes glass over. I mean, it's not even, it's not even like, I mean, they don't even hesitate. They immediately kind of stare off into space or, or the comment I love is, yeah, I think my grandma did that, you know, and, and I guess I, I just want to say it's not so much just like old patchwork of your grandpa's jeans and your Uncle Bob's old flannel shirt being made into a quilt. I mean, this is textile design. This is, these are works of art. These are murals that are mobile. These are beautiful things that creative, geniuses are creating today and walking around the halls of QuiltCon, it, it's just proof of it. And so trying to describe quilting to people who aren't familiar with quilting is a little bit tricky, but once I introduce the words textile design, it kind of elevates the art form, even though it is in my mind the same thing. We checked out her not one, not two, but three quilts in the show, and Williams also created two free patterns for Birch Fabrics, playfully named Mod Melons and Retro Plaid. I just wanted to, to inject, you know, my excitement for quilting into the already vibrant quilting community that's there. I also really get excited about pattern writing. I, I love sitting at my sewing machine and quilting, but the idea of creating a pattern that other people are going to make and put their own spin on it is really exciting to me. Ideally, you know, long-term plan, I'd also love to license my patterns or sell my patterns to manufacturers that would mass pr produce my quilt designs because quilt designing is really what I'm passionate about. So that's a long-term plan. We'll see how I get there. I'm sure you will get there. I'm <laughs> sure. For the Sewing Report, I'm Jennifer Moore. See you next time.